Thank you guys again for watching another episode of Footballer's Advice. My name is Michael Galulo, and today I wanted to talk about networking, the importance of networking, and how you can do it and use the different platforms on social media to actually gain contacts in the professional soccer world. Like many players, I know some people watching may think, Michael, I don't have any players or contacts that I could reach out to that can put me in the professional soccer world. And I definitely understand that. But the beautiful thing about today, guys, you have to think, a couple years ago, the only resource players had was the FIFA website with the list of agents that they certified that you could contact and you know get their email and send a resume and a highlight tape and hope they respond. The beautiful thing about today is that we have smartphones. And with smartphones comes social media. I'm talking about Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We literally have contacts around the world in the professional soccer world at our fingertips. And this is the reason why I tell players, you need to have a Facebook account, you need to have an Instagram and a Twitter account, because you can leverage those accounts to, in order to contact players who are professional, coaches, agents, scouts. I mean, today you could even contact the kit manager for a professional soccer team. And who knows, you never know by reaching out to that individual if he's the one that's gonna be able to put your information in front of a coach, in front of a president, that's gonna allow you to you know, come out and train with the team or get some sort of contact on who to contact within the club. That's the beautiful thing about social media today, guys. Let's use Instagram, for example. You could go on the Explorer page, type in soccer, and you'll see a lot of posts about soccer. And some of them will be just guys kicking around and they won't have any professional contacts, but maybe you stumble across you know, a player who plays for a professional soccer team that posted about soccer. And now you can go ahead, go to his Instagram account and send him a direct message. You don't even need to have anyone's email or phone number to get a hold of them today, guys. That's the beautiful thing about social media. And that's why I tell everyone, you need to use social media to your advantage. You need to go out and you need to find these contacts on social media. I mean, Facebook is another great example. You can Facebook message people and you can see if they've seen your message and they can respond to you easily. I mean, you have to think, all of social media is on your phone. You literally have access to anyone, anywhere in the world through their phone. I mean, email is one thing. Yeah, they get a bunch of emails. You gotta think, these coaches, they don't wanna read sometimes all these emails. If you send them a direct message through social media, there might be a better chance that they respond to you. And one tip that I'll give you guys that I've learned throughout you know, my time trying to you know, gain contacts is that a lot of the times when you send a message, whether it be email or even via uh, social media, a lot of coaches may not respond, a lot of agents may not respond. But the one thing that I've realized is that if you send a player a message, more than likely they will respond, and here's why. One, they've been in your shoes. You know, a lot of guys that are in the professional game are, have gone through the same journey that me and you are going through. And they understand the struggle, they understand the grind, and they're willing to put their neck out there for you to help you out. A great thing to do, guys, that I actually would recommend is go and look at uh, the roster for professional soccer teams and go back a year, go back two years to the old roster. A lot of times there's gonna be players that have either retired and they're done playing the professional game. And sometimes those are the best resources and the best people that you could contact because now they have no actual ties in terms of playing and agents that they you know, sometimes uh, can't give their, their information out when they're playing. But now since they're retired, they're willing to give that information to you. And a lot of players, like I said, when they see you reaching out and you tell them a little bit about your story and you provide them that information like a highlight tape and a resume, they're more than willing to help you out. And the thing with players is you have to think too, guys, even if you look and you contact someone who used to play somewhere else professionally, they have no ties to that team anymore. Uh, with an agent, it's a lot harder because you know they have ties to different clubs and they can't always stick their neck out for players because they're protecting themselves. They're protecting their own brand, their own connections, because if they reference a player who, you know, to the club isn't up to their standard, the agent doesn't look as reliable anymore. So players are actually the best contact that you have because they don't have any relationship with their prior club anymore. They're on to their next club. Or like I said, when they're retired, 
they don't have any financial connection to the club. And what I mean by that, guys, is agents obviously, you know, take a percentage out of the contract that they get you. So financially, they are invested in recommending you to clubs. Players aren't. So players are a great resource to reach out to. Retired players as well. And like I said, you can do that either through email or you can do that through social media. And I highly suggest that you do that through social media because you literally have access to someone's phone and you literally can contact them just like if you had their phone number and you were texting them. That's the beautiful thing about social media, guys. I really hope some of this information helped because this, as I've gone through my journey, this has helped me gain contact information in the professional soccer world that I never would have had. I can't tell you how many people I've reached out to, how many messages I've sent, but the players who have sent something back and they may not be able to give you everything, but the fact that they responded means you're getting your name out there. And eventually, you're gonna be able to get contacts and reach out to people who are, uh, who are going to be able to help you in the professional soccer world. As always, guys, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys can check out more great content that I post for you here in the future. And also, go ahead and leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear of other ways that you guys have reached out to professional soccer teams. That way you could at least gain some contacts and, and possibly go ahead and go on trial with them. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you next time.